Welcome back, strangers. Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green are considered by many to be the favorite game of their childhood. But what if I told you that there was a dark lore surrounding this seemingly harmless children's game? Today, we're diving into one of the earliest creepypastas, the Lavender Town Syndrome. On February 27, 1996, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green were released to the public in Japan. Shortly after, the games became a worldwide phenomenon, selling over 30 million copies. However, shortly after its initial release, there were reports of children acting out of character. It seemed that upon reaching a certain point in the game, children were becoming depressed, developing illnesses, and in some cases, committing suicide. Parents were enraged and demanded that an investigation be held to discover what the Pokemon games were doing to their children. Upon further research, it was discovered that all of the children in question had developed their ailments after reaching a certain city, Lavender Town. Lavender Town in the games is treated as the region's cemetery and ghost habitat. Upon entering the city, the tone and music changes drastically to a shrill tune. Upon further exploration of the city, you will find the Lavender Town Tower, Inside are multiple people mourning the deaths of their beloved Pokémon. You will also run into ghosts that are unable to be defeated and leave your Pokémon shivering in fear. To many, this town seemed out of place for a happy children's game. After investigating further, it was found that the creepy tune that played in Lavender Town contained very high-pitched sounds that only children could hear. In addition, these pitches were known to cause nausea and other illness in children, including depression and suicide. The creators of the game were ordered to go back and fix the music immediately, lowering the tones, which leads to the tune heard in today's copies of the games. It is said, however, that some original copies of Red and Green still contain the haunting melody. Unfortunately, it didn't end there. In 2010, a video arose of the original Lavender Town music being translated into images via a special software. The images produced were that of Multiple Unknown, a second generation Pokemon that has 26 different sprites, each corresponding to a letter of the alphabet. When arranged together, the unknown spelled, Leave Now. Though this story is widely considered to be a myth, many people swear by the story, even creating videos to prove its authenticity. What say you, strangers? Was there actually an evil subliminal message programmed into the games? Or is it merely a creepy story? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks, strangers, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit that bell button to make sure you get video notifications. Be sure to follow us on our social media in the description below. We appreciate all of your continued support. And as always, stay strange.